Do you want to save money on your Klaviyo monthly bill and didn't know how to do that? Well, in this video, I'm going to give you our little trick that we've been using for all of our managed accounts inside of Klaviyo that has been saving a ton of money for them on their Klaviyo monthly bill. So if you want to follow along, all you need to do is go to your billings tab. It's under setting and you can get there by clicking on your store's name at the bottom left corner. So go to billing and the first thing I would recommend is just checking what's your current monthly bill with Klaviyo. For this account, we'll lower them to a hundred bucks and I'll explain in a second why from 649. If you click on change plan, you'll see what Klaviyo recommends you to, to, to upgrade to and that's $541 more than what they're currently paying. And what Klaviyo is actually calculating is this number right here. How many active profiles you have in your account. Now, to understand what that means will really help you to understand that first in order to understand what billing or what plan fits best for your account. So active profiles simply means emails that are emailable, right? Profiles that are emailable, they're not suppressed and not deleted. It means that you can simply send an email to all those profiles all at once, okay? And if we look right here, this is the amount of emails that they have as emailable profiles, right? So active profiles. But Klaviyo themselves recommend to send not to all your emailable profiles, but to send to an engage segment only, right? Engage is either. Let's check out this Klaviyo article. Opened an email in the last 30 days or clicked an email at least once in the last 30 days. Or if somebody has visited the site, which is another thing you can add as well, it's or, 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 right? So it's either open or click or visited the site in the past 30 days, okay? And also if somebody's in newsletter, this is basically something you can use or you can omit. I usually don't include the newsletter, but you can definitely do that and basically find out what's the exact number of engaged profiles, 30 days, 90 days, 120 days, and even 180 days. And the reason for that is actually you want to check how many people are actually responding to when you send an email, right? If you send to your entire list, which we just checked over there, they have about 35,000 emailable profiles, but they're not sending to all those profiles. They usually, they should send, right? Based on what Klaviyo preaches is only to engage profiles, either opened, clicked, or visited the site in the last 30, 60, 90, 120, 180 days. And that's simply because we want to maintain a good deliverability, right? We don't want to end up in spam. So that's why we want to check the engaged profile and work with the engaged profiles for the most part. Okay. So that's why since they have, let's check how many engaged profile they have in their 120 day engage segment, they have about 4,000 profiles. Okay. So we chose a plan that costs a hundred bucks and gives us 5,000 cents in one campaign, right? So if I create a campaign, I can fit all of my 120 day engaged profiles. Okay. I hope I didn't confuse you. There's active, which is your whole entire list, your whole entire emails inside of your Klaviyo account. And then there's the engaged segment that we usually work with closely, right? So since they have 4,000, 120 day engaged, we chose a plan that fits those 4,000 subs and we can send those 4,000 subs in one campaign, one send. Okay. So forget about the 700% that we see here. It doesn't even matter. What matters is how many emails are we actually sending? Okay. So with that being said here, we have a 50,000 unique emails sent per month. As you can see, this account is way under sending which is great. Okay. So this gives us, if you do a quick math, 5,000 times 10, it gives us 50,000. It gives us 10 campaign cents per month. Okay. I know I said a lot of numbers, but what we need to make sure that we're under this monthly uh, usage, right? Email monthly uses is how many unique emails we sent. And we're definitely way under this number. So again, the steps are as follows. You need to check your current Klaviyo bill. You need to create an engaged segment. And then you need to see what is a plan that fits those engage segment, engage profiles. And you need to check one that fits all of those in one go, right? So if you have 4,000, you want to choose like a plan that is around 5,000. 
Okay, you can even go as high as 10,000, but we don't recommend. Uh, you see 55, you can choose 6,000. You know, there's a few different scales and different like options, but let's say if we go to 10,000, the bill would be 162, $150, but not 650 is basically what Clevy recommends to fit all your active subscribers. So I hope that makes sense, guys. This is like a quick tip here that we basically use for our clients. I hope this basically gave you some value. If you have any questions about what I said, drop me a comment down below and do let me know what videos you want to see next. Take care.